If you've ever watched Terminator before, you've probably thought, wait, what if Skynet was real? Well, that thought is slowly becoming reality as AI becomes more powerful, accurate, and approaches a scary checkpoint known as AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. Now, this does sound pretty scary, but fortunately for us, that Skynet will come true thought isn't really possible in our lifetimes, or not, not at least for a few hundred years. But unfortunately for us, there is an AI epidemic that is happening right now, which can cause way more damage than you think. AI has been around for almost 75 years since 1956, but in November of 2022, OpenAI released its first ChatGPT LLM model, giving everyone a true glimpse into the future and the capabilities of what AI can do. Straight after its release, people would use AI to save literal hundreds of hours on everyday tasks, assessments, spreadsheets, and research, allowing people to spend more time on things that actually matter. Eventually, the initial wonder for the tool faded away and people began to start fearing for what the future might look like, with this tool becoming better and better each month. Big figures like Jordan Peterson and Elon Musk made some pretty massive comments about the tech pretty much saying that AI is more dangerous than nukes and we need to be careful about how we approach AI in the future. Two years later, AI is continuously improving with newer, faster and more accurate models of ChatGPT being released biannually. The current model of ChatGPT has the ability to think about its responses before giving an answer, allowing for more complex questions and answers. Many people believe that AI will destroy the world with the release of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, allowing AI to think for itself without prompts. But I think this vision of destruction is far too in the future to be a reality. The real damage and harm of AI has already been felt by millions of people worldwide, and that is an over-reliance on AI. In almost every specialized career or work you do, you are required to know a bunch of stuff in order to complete your work quick and effectively. But why bother learning all the hard stuff when you can get AI to answer it for you? It already knows everything you know. It knows how to structure it better, how to frame it better, and how to deliver an answer that is simplified, condensed, and straight to the point. This dependence on AI can create one hell of a knowledge gap. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, as more people rely on AI for quick answers, there's a risk of losing deep, specialized knowledge in various fields. This could lead to a society where surface level understanding becomes the norm and in-depth expertise becomes a rarity. If you think about industries such as healthcare, engineering, or scientific research, this could have some huge and very serious consequences. This over-reliance on AI tools possesses a significant threat to our cognitive abilities and problem-solving skills as well. When we constantly turn to AI for answers, we risk losing the ability to think critically and independently. Imagine having a calculator for every single math problem you do. Now, while it might seem pretty convenient, it can lead to a deterioration of basic arithmetic skills over time. With AI pretty much doing everything for us, what else is there for us to do? You might say being creative, as this is what makes us human anyways. But if people become so over-reliant on AI, that stops us from thinking outside the box and eventually giving up on trying to be creative. This is why I think AI is so scary. It isn't just making our lives easier at the cost of our intelligence, it makes us less human, turning it more human than us. Now, it's not all doom and gloom, okay? There are plenty of ways to make sure that we don't have to go through this terrifying stage. And we can continue to improve AI. The best and strongest way to combat it is simply redesigning our approach on how we view AI. We need to make sure that everyone views it as a simple tool and nothing else, okay? Schools and education systems need to adapt to teach students how to effectively use AI while also developing critical thinking skills, making sure that instead of reducing our understanding of topics, we enhance them to ask more difficult questions than what was said in the past. Professionals across all industries should strive to maintain a balance between leveraging AI for efficiency and preserving their core competencies.
There's a great quote from Franz Kafka that really sums it all up. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about AI in the comments below. As always, take care.